All right, today I'm going to do the second installment of my two easy ways to spice up your blues. All right, so now that we're in the key of A, right, we're going to fill in the rest of those chords to jazz up the blues a little bit, right? So you got your A dominant, right? Then you got your D dominant. Then it goes back to A dominant. And then you're going to add, you're going to add this pinky right here on an F note to go back to the D chord. And then you're going to do a half diminished here. Right, then you go back to the one chord. Has to go a whole step down to G7, then to F sharp seven. Right, and then you're gonna go to B minor. And the Hendrix chord. And then you're gonna do the turnaround. A to F sharp dominant seven to B minor to E seven. All right. So this is commonly called a jazz blues. And if you find yourself in a blues jam, there's a good chance the blues that you're playing, depending on who you're playing with, maybe a keyboard player, it's going to advance to that level. It's not going to just be. It's not going to do that, right? They're, they're going to swing it, right? And if you hear the band start swinging, chances are they're filling in those chord changes. Now, I would always advise you to listen to what the band's playing. The best thing you can do on the bandstand when you're playing with a band and you're not sure what's going on is lay out, all right? Lay out and listen to what they're doing. But there's a good chance... <laughs> Right? To the half diminished. Right? I would advise you to go out there and find some jazz blues changes. Get the iReal app. Go on that, learn some of these these more voicings. It has the voicings in there. I'm not this is not a detailed lesson where I'm gonna go through every voicing. But knowing some of these things is gonna spice up your blues. Now, an easy way to spice up your blues is with some of those SRV style bands. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here. You're gonna go up here to your A note on your B string, on the, on your B string up here at the 10th fret, right? And you're gonna. And then bend that note up. Right? Right? Try and figure that out. All right? But what I want you to do is to do it your way. The only way you're going to develop your own style is to take these ideas. These aren't really lessons. Lessons are very detailed. Lessons are very structured. These are ideas that I want you to take and run with. If you'd enjoyed these lessons, these two easy way lessons, please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. All right. Thank you. I hope this has helped. And you know what? I hope you go out there and you do it better than me. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you on the next one.